Third down and two. Archer delays the ball, and there's a first down to Washington. He is across the 45. Boy, he's a good third down player. And he did the same thing that he used to do at Washington on that obvious passing situation. He ran a trap play. Second down and 10 from the 49-yard line. Charlie Brown is to the left. Up the middle goes Riggins. Look at him run. Inside the 35. And they said they're going to do it, and they've done it so far. The tackle by Darrell Green and Curtis Jordan. This is third and six. You're running. Got a first down. And he's inside the 20-yard line. The kid is 6'2", 203 out of Iowa State. And they love it here in Atlanta. Big stays in there on third down, third and four. Here he comes. And he is to the 10 and driven back. He's short of a first down. And Dean Hamill made another tackle. And they didn't get the line surge that time that they had been getting. They've kept the ball for seven and a half minutes. And now they're going to try the field goal with Archer holding. And so you have to be aware of him. The ball will be put down at the 18. Lucker is kicking a 28-yard try. You know, He's I've been terrific this year. I had a nice visit with Nick before the game and asked about his kicking style. There it pops right through there like it had eyes. From the 24. Right in Warren sprung Rodgers. Big play. Big play. Wow. Scott Case made the tackle. Boy, what a beautiful hole on the right side. What a block by Warren. Yes, look at the block by Warren, number 85, and George Rogers blows right through the hole. Good acceleration, goes right down the field and goes right through the right through the pack there and almost popped right on through. Third down. 16. They put a lot of man for man coverage, Jack. I'm talking about Atlanta. Clark caught it first down. Clark caught it first down. What a big play to the 30 yard line on third and 16. He's covered from the outside, man for man. He breaks to the inside. Number 20, Wendell Kaysen, is covering man for man. The ball is thrown right on the money. Third down pass. And drop. Clint Didier bobbled it. I think it was tipped and it was sort of fluttering as it got to him. Jeff Bostic will snap the ball and it is going to be a 39 yard try by Mark Mosley. It's long enough and we're tied. Short drop he threw while backpedaling and it's caught. And that's a first down by Art Monk. Despite the very heavy coverage of Bobby Butler. What a good catch. Pedal ground level replay. Look at him come in on the inside. He gets it, gets a, a little jam. But in spite of that, you know what happened? It hit his shoulder pads, Jack, and hit it, bounced up in the air. But he maintained concentration and still made the play. When you play this kind of a defense, Atlanta, it's feast or famine. You're going to have some big plays if you can cash in on it. And it's caught by the tight end. And it is Didier breaking loose for a first down on a first down throw. He's blocking for Rodgers. First and goal. D Didier's the lead blocker. Ground level replay, and look at he just caves it open right down the middle. Good blocking at the point of attack, and look at look at him run. Kaysen misses the tackle downfield, and they finally grab him, but look at the great effort. A delay to Griffin. Touchdown! They sort of use Rodgers as a decoy. A lot of people have come down here from Washington and Virginia and the Carolina to root for Washington. Watch the right guard, Ken Huff, and watch Mark May. Huff makes a beautiful block. Mike, Mark May also makes a great block and enables Griffin to go into the end zone for the touchdown. Mosley is 12 out of 13 in extra points. And he makes 
to score 10 to 3. This is the second punt for Atlanta. I'll watch for a fake, by the way. Yeah, he's got the ability to run. I don't. There he is. There he comes. Oh, there's. He slipped and fell, and Washington takes over inside the 25. Reggie Branch, number 30, made the tackle. Watch number 30. Look, he makes a, a quick fake. He bobbles the ball a little bit, but uh, Branch gets penetration. Didn't take much to bring him down, did it? No, it didn't. Here's a big leg by Theismann. Touchdown. Russ Grimm and Don McQuaid look at him both pulling. That's that counter play. And, and just missed him. And just missed And they just, he keeps the ball himself. The extra point is good, 17 to 3. You can hear all of the Washington fans who made the trip down here. And that run out of pump formation backfired. Motion by Didier. Heisman rolling. Uh oh. He's really rolling now. Look out, Joe. You're in trouble, kid. Mike. Mike Pitts had a chance at him, but couldn't catch him. And Theismann uh, does a great job of uh, emulating the hound in the hair that time. <laughs> he won't run on this time. Moncar at the 15-yard line. First down, of course. There again, we allude to the fact, Jack, that there's going to be a game of big plays. Watch Monk in the slot, number 81. Bobby Butler covering 23. That's right, man-for-man -man coverage, and this is tough. Now, even this ball is thrown a little bit short. Butler hey. never saw it. This is second and one. And now it's to the goal line, but not over. It'll be first and goal from inches away as Rodgers carried again. Here he goes, and over for the touchdown on the second effort. Another touchdown by Rodgers. Griffin got one. Rodgers has one. Theismann has one. And a field goal. Didier goes to the right. Clark and Munker to the left, and Griffin is the running back. Well, he's doing as good as Rodgers. And Joe Gibbs said he wanted to see Griffin run from scrimmage. We saw Rodgers limp off earlier. He said he wanted to see a little bit of this uh, fellow today. Third and ten. 47 left in the 24 to 3. Washington. The blitz is on. The pass is cut for a first time by Clark. Gary Clark. He got the game ball last week against Cleveland. A rookie out of James Madison. Illustrating the one for one cover. Curry, they pick him up very well in the middle area. Look at the open spot. No underneath help at all. The ball's right on the money to Gary Clark, number 84. A first down for the Washington Redskins. Great pass protection. Now watch again. Watch the pass protection up front. Russ Grimm, Don, Dan McGuaid, and Huff and May. They're all doing a good job of keeping protection for Joe. Third and ten. Blitz. Here's it in, and it is caught, and it's a touchdown. Boy, he doesn't drop many. Well, the man-to-man -man coverage is killing him. Like well, there it is. Feast or famine. You get to the quarterback. It's great. If you don't, it's the bye-bye blues. You live by the sword. You die by the sword. And that's what's happening here this afternoon. 31 to 3. Watch the blitz. Buddy Curry blitzing inside. They pick him up in good shape. Look at Mark May on the right side. And Joe sees it perfectly. And Monk gets a step. On Kaysen, Wendell Kaysen, the rookie, and that's all you need. Well, there's our score here at the half. It's all Redskins, and it all changed around when Atlanta tried to run out of punt formation on fourth down and didn't make it. 31 to 3, Washington. Heisman in second and five, throwing, and Monk has it again. Inside the 30, inside the 25, and Bobby Butler. Number 23 trying to cover him again. And here again, anytime you have one-for-one -one coverage, look at all the protection. You've got plenty of time to throw the ball. Anytime Joe Theismann has that kind of time and he doesn't have, Butler does not have any help on the inside. 
Boy, that's inviting big plays. Now here is the field goal by Mosley, and it is good. And now we have a 34-3 score. Here comes Griffin. Boy, he changed directions, didn't he? He'll add to those good yards. It's his ninth carry, and he's over 70 yards. Keith Griffin in the backfield. In motion by Art Monk. There he goes. Ooh. And batted down, and there's a flag in the defensive backfield. Well, they caught Bobby Butler. Defensive holding. Here comes Mosley again. He's kicked one of 39 and another of 40. And this one is going to be a 48-yard try. So the Redskins aren't laying back. They're trying to get all the points they can. And I talked to Mark before the game about his cleats. I said, did you change any? No. He said, I wear the same ones all the time. He's three for three today. And a 48-yarder. And the score mounts. 37 to three. Hollywood would like to move him for a score. And a sack. The whistle sounded. In the grasp of Hamill, that's his second of the day and his third of the year. Third and 13. Holly needs a long one. Oh, well, he saw him coming and ducked him down. He went. That's the fifth sack. And it was Malat this time. Fifth sack for Washington. So that's all we see of Theismann and Jay Schroeder is into the game. Keith Griffin is the tailback. And a vanilla play and a give to Griffin. He breaks out of there. That's what happens in a game of this sort, Hank. You start missing those tackles when you're not really interested. Here's third down and one, and a first down, and a touchdown for Keith Griffin. Atlanta second touchdown for Griffin big long run 66 yards 66 big ones second touchdown of the day for Griffin he had none prior to today it's a ground level shot of it running to the left look at Mark May number 20 73 getting a position on Buddy Curry look right. at Pride Moore 27 in hot pursuit but he misses the tackle and it's all over school is out ring the bell there it is. And the extra point is good, making it 44-3. to Here's the rushing yardage today. Washington 308 in Atlanta, 124. Fourth down here. Fourth and six. Holly rolling, throwing back across the field. Caught by Riggs, and that's a first down and more. Got one block, got two blocks. He's still going inside the 15-yard line with a minute and a half left. Jordan made the tackle. Here's a first down pass play by Holly. Fakes a reverse and throws in a touchdown. He hung it on a rope. That's the first touchdown to Arthur Cox. 14 yard pass play. There's Sonny Jurgen with his Sonny. with his victory cigar. And next to him with the glasses, Sam Huff. Two good performances. There's Theismann with Holly, former teammates. Holly looked pretty good stepping up in there, I thought, Hank. Yeah, he did, but that kind of a game, you know, it's like put, squirting perfume on a pig. It just, you know, it's all over. It doesn't make any difference. There's our score. 44 to 10.